essentially be here and I am tuning in for 29 weeks of baby number two. Me and Evie are 20 in our cute little overalls. These are from Gap. Just loaded up on some 50% mm. off Gap maternity. And we matchy. Mm. Baby is actually about 17 inches long and about three pounds. So about the size of an acorn squash from this point and about the size of this really cute elephant diffuser that just mm. came out. Can you make the noises the elephant make? Oh. Yeah, that's right. So Baby is about three pounds and Baby is also developing millions of neurons in its brain, his brain at this point. And he is also starting to dream at night. Scientists have been able to prove through different diagnostic studies of brain. Baby has been growing quite a bit. And so that also takes into toll back pain, leg pain, um, inflammation. And so a product that I have super, super loved right now is doTERRA's Copaiba Soft Gels. And so I'll take one of these in the morning and one at night and it helps decrease inflammation, helps elevate my mood, helps any kind of soreness or tightness, and is really great at helping um, the neurons in the brain. As fitness and activity goes, my midwife um, highly encouraged starting BirthFit, which is a local, um, similar to CrossFit, but it's all for preparing your body for birth. Especially um, a natural birth, you want to make sure you are going to be able to physically stand up to what is going on during birth. So toning certain areas, like doing a bunch of squats and doing a bunch of um, um, side strengthening exercises is super important. So I did my first class yesterday and I loved it. It strengthened a lot of parts of my body that I didn't know exist. At this week, I've been really focusing on limiting sugar intake. Overall, as a family, we're doing this, but especially with this one the past few weeks with traveling and then just getting close to the holidays, I've gotten a little bit out of control with my sugar intake. So I am drinking more juices this week, eating more greens, and cutting down on um, those nasty saturated fats and going towards cleaner options like smoothies in the morning instead of bacon, which I love. Make sure to tune in next week for week 30 when you will see my tips and tricks for varicose veins. Varicose veins are